Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Now I've finished World 1 in Acorn Plains, let's go to World 2 in Layer Cake Desert. It's a very cool idea how it looks like cake, but also it's a desert. Or maybe it's a dessert. Anyway, let's go into uh, the Stone Eye Zone. Which I'm assuming means a lot to do with the statues that are around. Which is interesting. We also still have uh, Baby Yoshi with us. And these stone statues, I believe... Watch, like, their eyes actually keep on, on top of us. So we need to be careful with that. I wanted to hit that, but that's okay because I have Baby Yoshi to hit everything for me. These stone statues will move around sometimes and do different things. Oh, hello. Oh, I was hoping to hit you on the head, but I've got a baby Yoshi, so it doesn't really work. Anyway, let's hit that and go up here, I think. I don't know where exactly I need to be, uh, but what I do know is that some of these statues also you can ground pound on to activate, like this one here. Which means we can get those coins, but there aren't any- there's not really any point to doing that. Uh, we can also do these ones over here. Which I don't think has anything special for us by doing. Well, maybe it does. Oh, it has coins here for us. Cool. Give me all of the coins. Okay. Oh, 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 it's a good thing I have this baby Yoshi with me. Otherwise, I'd be in a lot of trouble. Like I already am. But anyway, let's go up here and go through this pipe. And let's hit this P-switch, which turns all of the brick blocks into coins. And also any coins into brick blocks, but there aren't any here, so... But it's good to know that that's how that works. Okay, also I believe the the timer can extend if you leave this, like if you go through a pipe wall it's still ticking down. I don't want that right now. I kind of like the a Super Acorn, so. Also, Super Acorn with a U Baby Yoshi is powerful. Because we can just float forever. Except we can't go from holding Baby Yoshi to gliding, so. I guess that's something. Anyway, secret blocks up here, which is good for us because it means we can go... Over to the end of the level, which these blocks are gonna- or statues are gonna fall down as we get there, and there we go. And also, another small detail about on the flagpoles, if- depending on where you land on the flagpole, the flag will actually go to that level when you raise your own flag. It- it doesn't actually matter that much because of, at the end of the day, it's gonna be at the same height, I'm pretty sure. Even after you've completed the level, but anyway. Oh, this is terrible! Some weirdo stole a bunch of my stuff! And he's so fast, I'll never catch him! Please, you gotta help me! That was all my- <laughs> That was m all- My all-time double favorite stuff! And I may never see it again! Ah, this is no time to stand around. He was headed for Acorn Plains. Oh, I almost forgot. Pipes are a surefire answer when you're in a rush. So basically, to speak it in English terms, we can use these pipes that are at the beginning of any world to get to any other world, so it means we can get back to Acorn Plains quite quickly. This is a, a good idea for a way to get around the world faster. Uh, but anyway, Nabbit is also one of the playable characters you can play as. He's the very easy character. He plays very differently to what you'd normally do with a character. But for now, let's try to catch him. Because we need to grab him, which might be difficult with a baby Yoshi. I thought, although I think I might just be able to run into him, quite possibly. He runs away, and we grab him, like that. Good, we caught Nabbit. In, we only have 100 seconds to grab him as well. Oh, I need to, need to make sure you get, get to him before the end of the level, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, we got him, and Toad gives us a pea acorn. Which is a extremely good item 
which I think you can get more of if later on, but also it's it's very rare and you don't want to use it probably unless you really, really want it. Uh, but anyway, let's grab this acorn. And I might also show what Nabbit plays like as well while we're here. Uh, hang on, how do I menu, change character. Okay, Nabbit, the very easy character. He's very easy, but plays very differently. So, interesting stuff about him is he can't be hurt by enemies. He can still die in a pit, though. Uh, but also, he seems pretty fast. Uh, but he doesn't use items the same way. Instead of grabbing items to power up, he just grabs them and puts them into his bag. And if you collect as many as possible before the end of the level, which I'm going to do now, I guess. <laughs> this might take a little bit since this is a fairly long level. Not really that long. But basically you can't get hit by a lot of things. But it's, the only way you can really die is by falling into a pit or lava. Uh, but anyway, grab as many power-ups as possible. Which could be annoying in multiplayer, depending on how you want to play. But at the same time, you could do it however you want, so... Let's grab all of that. Another item, not a... Not a, uh... One-up. That's okay. Because, once we get to the end of the level, it should be all good. It's very interesting how... The damn Nabbit works. But anyway, here's the end of the level. So let's just jump on the flagpole. And now, all of the items that we collected throughout that whole thing... ...are converted into 1-ups. So, Nabbit is very easy. He just plays very differently, so... Anyway... Also, if you complete a level as Nabbit uh, that you haven't completed with a normal character, the icon for the level will actually be purple, showing that you completed it with the very easy character. Now, let's switch to Toadette, who's the easy character, and go through the same level. Toadette plays like a normal character, except differently, because... I don't know. Uh, but anyway, let's grab our character. Toadette actually has a special power-up that is only available to her, she can use the other char character, the same power-ups that the other characters, though. To just get around, but also, if we hit this block, instead of getting an acorn, we get the Super Crown, which is the item that only uh, Toadette can use to turn into Peach, which is very similar to a an acorn, but at the same time... Hang on, I might need to not have the baby Yoshi for this. Oh, hang on, I just lost it. It's fine. Oh, it's so fine. Please, why are you doing this to me? Why? It's fine. We get another Super Crown. Um, hang on, let me put you down there. Uh, with the... The power up, it works very similarly to the acorn. But also, if you fall into a pit with this, it will automatically make you fly up again. So I guess it's kind of a normal character, but also... It's so different, and it gets difficult with keeping track of items, I guess. Uh, but I guess it's actually not that bad. Or not as bad as I thought. But I mean, still. <laughs> Uh, anyway. Let me just show you here if I fall into the pit without using my spin. We fly back up and we're alright. Also, the baby Yoshi just died! Why is- Okay, so that's a drawback to that then. I guess that makes this fine. But anyway. It's a- it's a cool- it's a cool way to do this. And it means that you always have your own power-up guaranteed. As long as it's a super crown and not something else. Because, you know, if there's a fire flower, it's, yeah, everyone still has to figure it out. But I guess it's, it's, it's only a little bit easier. I don't know why it's actually even called easy. I don't know. I guess it's just because if you fall into a pit with this power-up, you'll be fine. But anyway, that is Toadette playing as Peachette. And that's all that for now. So let's head back to the desert and just get back to playing normally. But I still wish you could play as two Toad characters, basically. Uh, anyway, each character you can pick also has their own set of lives that you can use. Uh, even in multiplayer, they all have their own set of lives, which is the main reason why. But anyway, let's head back to Layer Cake Desert. 
and move on. Also, if you complete a level as Peachette, it marks level as pink, I'm pretty sure. Which is a little bit annoying if the character isn't even that much easier. I don't know. Anyway. Same rules as before, but now there are two. And there's also a Super Crown, which is going to be annoying for me because now I have that in my inventory to deal with. Unless I just don't get it. Which is also possible. Okay. I don't know if I kept track of the right ones. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. I really didn't. Wow. That's fine with me, though, because I didn't want the Super Crown. Because only Peachette can use- or Toadette can use it. That means I probably don't want that cr crowding up my inventory. So anyway. And I guess the Mushroom's not, not that much better anyway, as well. Okay, let's see. Which one of these is the first one? I think it's probably the left one. Yeah, this one. Perilous Pokey Cave. And I don't have my Baby Yoshi anymore. But I should be alright, so... You need to be careful of the Pokies, they hurt. Even when they turn into... Plants. Which they are already, I guess, but anyway. Um, let's go... Over here and get... This block, which has... Fire Flower. Uh, I think I'll grab that, because it means I can take these out. You can take out the lower heart part of their body. Uh, but if you take out their head, it means that they, they, com they die completely, so... That's another way to do things. Now, I want to hit this block, I think. No, maybe. No. I know there's a thing around here somewhere. Maybe this one? Nope. I'll grab this coin, though. Getting very well. Oh, I don't want to be down here. I want to go up, please. These things are very helpful for getting up. I also want to go up here, though, because there's all these coins. And a star coin. So we don't want to miss that. Now, am I crazy? I, I might be, just be crazy. No, I'm not. There's a Yoshi here. Which means we can grab all sorts of things. Oh, here we are in the darkness. I don't know where I am right now, but it's okay. It's okay. Wasn't even careful of these things. If you grab a, um, a Pokey when it turns into a plant, it actually counts as a fruit. So you can get items with Yoshi, which is quite useful. I think you can also just grab the whole th No, you can't. You can only grab the whole thing if it's in fruit mode. That's very interesting. But anyway, let's keep moving around. I think up here, maybe? Maybe further back. Oh, please don't do that. Hang on, I might just need to hop off Yoshi using the spin, because if you spin off a Yoshi, it, it boosts you up a long way. So you get a higher jump off of a Yoshi. Uh, anyway, I know there's a thing around here, and it might just be this over here. So let's go on that. This pipe takes us to a secret area. Give me the goods. One up. I guess I don't need the extra stuff from them, but anyway. Oh, hello. I actually need to bounce off of you to get that, so let's do that. Possibly could have glided to it if I needed to. But anyway, let's head back down now. Now we got that star coin. We should be doing uh, very well for ourselves. Oh, there goes the egg. And it's a one-up as well, but I think if I stand over here, it should come to me. Very nice. So we have everything we need now. Let's just head to the end. And we'll be good. Any item? Nope. We can also bounce off of these pokies to get to the end. And get the one up on the flag. And we're good. We're so good. Just amazing. Also that cake in the background looks like a cake. But I probably wanna probably wanna eat wouldn't wanna eat that cake since it's made out of sand. Okay, level three. Fire Snake Cavern. Here we go. I I told you've got this. I'm also gonna probably keep this power up for the moment. Ice flower could be good. Especially if it's a fire snake cavern. 
Uh, but I'm going to keep this for now. Got these uh, moving platforms going up and down. Oh, hello, fire snake. Need to dodge that. Whoa. Don't ground pound on moving platforms that are rotating. Slash tilting. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, anyway, first coin is up here, so that's very easy to miss. Um, also, we get a baby Yoshi, but it's a, a glowing one, which means that if we spin with it, we can actually get... Light up this darkness, and also scare off enemies, apparently. Uh, but we can eat fireballs and... All sorts of things. Ha! Huh, here! Got it. Let's hit that and get a 1-up. It's quite good to just light up the cavern if you need to. Oh, there's stuff down there as well, but is that important stuff? I don't know. Nothing important, that's cool. I like being able to light up everything like this. Ah, uh, but I think I need to go down through this pipe, probably. So let's do that. Oh. I might just need to... ...eat those. Also, there's nothing special down here. I don't think. So let's just keep moving on. Okay, what's this? Egg, which gives me power up because I don't already have... Uh, thing. I don't know if I want to go down further there or not. Probably not. Let's go over this way. And let's see. Down here, nothing. But I think it's probably because I need to grab this red ring to activate all the red coins. Oh, go, 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 go. Got it. Good. Great. Let's grab that one up. You can also eat the fireballs now. Or the fire snakes. Ah, uh, so that's something else we can do. Oh, hey, we can actually stun the enemies like that? Oh my goodness, I didn't want to do that. That's okay. Oh, but I need to get up there now. Hee! Got it. Cool. What's up here? Back on the surface, we get a star coin, so let's grab that. Oh, but I missed a star coin. I might just head to the end of the level and come back for the one I missed. Just because that's probably simpler. But anyway, now that we're at the end of the level, something interesting that we need to keep in mind is that if we get the glowing Yoshi to the end of the level, it gives us a one-up. I believe for each character we get a one-up for that. So that's actually a really good if you have multiple players and have a gold or glowing Yoshi. But we don't take the glowing Yoshi with us. It's only in the levels that there are glowing Yoshis, so... Anyway, let's head back in and try to find that coin that I missed since I completely missed it, so... Don't know how I did that. Anyway, let's also grab this since I don't have a normal power-up now. So let's take that since we need... We need something. At least for the hit points, we need something. It also means we can take out the fire snakes if we need to. Okay. Oh, hello. Freeze you. You can't pick it up because it's, um, frozen in the ground. Ah, uh, but anyway, let's grab this glowing Yoshi. There's a lot of items that it gives you. I'm surprised by how much this game just hands you items. So it wasn't down here, I don't think. This is the midpoint check flag, so... I don't know if that actually means that there's something here or not. Well, maybe... I get all the coins? Probably not. Because it doesn't look like there's anything extra here. Let me just go up. Um, something. There's probably just something around that I'm missing. Oh, how about if I go down here? Oh, hello. I can also get review with the... What's it called? The shell. There's a pipe here. So I feel like... Yep, there it is. I need to go down here. I'll take my Yoshi with me if I can, thank you. Let's go down the pipe, please. Thank you. So we can go down this pipe. And there's a few things in here, but we have blocks in the way. 
So let's get rid of these fire snakes to start off. And let's hit this P-switch. And grab that. Don't have to worry about the fire snakes since I already took them out. Now we just need to get to the end of the level to keep this star coin, because we can't exit the level with the star coin and keep it, sadly. Okay. Oh, hey, fireball. Delicious. It's spicy. Here we go. Another one up. Now we have everything that we need to go to the mid castle. Hello, Boom Boom. Stone Slide Tower. That sounds safe for me. Probably. It's all fine. Okay, so we have a secret in the wall to start off. So let's grab that. You can tell by the outline being wrong here. Uh, but anyway, let's spin on this, which moves this block down and also makes a star coin move out of the wall. So let's grab that. And keep moving. The, the stuff that you move with the cogs only stays in position for a, a short amount of time, so we need to be careful with that. Now, am I crazy? Oh, I am crazy. I'm crazy. As it turns out, I'm just absolutely crazy. Okay. Just need to be careful. I don't think I can... Oh, I can get rid of these spike... Spiny spikes. I think they're just called spike. No, that's something else. I can't remember what they're actually called. That's fine. Let's move this all the way down, getting rid of all the... Dry bones, but we can also, if I was fast enough, actually get up there. And wall jump. Just by clinging to a wall and jumping against it. Oh, I'm bad at this. I'm really bad at this. I've only got 400 seconds, so I need to not fail this much if I can manage that. There's a star coin up there that you can only get from below, so you need to keep that in mind. Spin next to an enemy to pick it up, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. Ah, uh, but the game will tell you. Oh, uh, hello. Oh, hello. Okay, there we go. Got rid of it. That's what I was trying to do. I'm failing badly. Uh, I don't know if I need this. It's just a coin. Cool. Uh, but I do need something over here. And I'm not entirely sure what. Okay, there's one up there. Is there anything over here that I need to worry about? Let me get rid of you. There's a coin there. I think that's just to be symmetrical. So I can leave that for now. Let's move this into position. So we can get up now. And through the pipe. Although I probably could have just jumped into the pipe and be fine. Okay, let's grab that. And let's go into the wall. Because we can. And there's a secret pipe right there. Which has a shuffled block. Which is just going to... Shuffle through items, whatever we hit it, or well, whatever's on the, on the face of it, whenever we hit it, will be what we get. Of course, it's always the mushroom. Why do I always get the mushroom? I'm so bad at this anyway. You probably just want to jump for the, uh, item before the item that you want to get. So I think we can possibly do something about these enemies, so let's do that. And let's get this wall into position so we can get up, please. Thank you. Another fire flower. Now I'm pretty sure that if we spin that, we can actually go into this wall here and get a pipe. So let's go through that. There's a lot of secrets just around. Ah, but we need this secret because it has a star coin for us. So let's move this appropriately. We have these spike things that will ro roll around. We need to make it bounce and hit that, and then we should... No, hang on, we need to do it again. Just let it go. Let it bounce, and then spin. Okay, now we need to get up there without dying. Which we might be able to do. Possibly. This is a dangerous place to be. Let me spin that to go up here carefully. 
Grab that. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Any secrets? Nope. I mean, this is a secret, so I shouldn't expect that to be secret, secret, secrets. Or should I? Uh, anyway, let's spin this up. Just like that, and now I should be able to actually just take a few shortcuts here by wall jumping. Oh, there's also a secret block there. That works out very well. Okay, but now we have these four pipes that are going to shoot us up. We need to move the block out of the way so we can do that. Go fast. Okay, there we go. We also can't freeze the, gi uh, the, the big dry bones because they are a lot stronger, but we can ground pound off of them as well. If we need to, let me grab that though, because it's good to have a fire flower before a boss. And that's a go. Hello, Boom Boom. And hello, Kamek. Giving Boom Boom an extra power. Now he has the ability to jump with his spin. So we need to be careful with that. We can also use Fire Flower on him, but it's not going to be that effective because he takes a lot of lot more hits than just jumping on him. But anyway, let's do that, and we're good. We're, we're done. We've done it. Okay, we have a few enemies on the path. We also have a split path and a few item houses. Mushroom houses. And also Kamek putting a spell around Peach's castle. Clouds spiral spiraling around it. Okay, let's save. Now I want this item here, so let's grab that. And let's run into one of these enemies to take it out. Like that. They only seem to roam within a certain area, but they also seem... ...to roam around a lot in that area. There we go. Star power. I mean, I don't really need it, but I have it, if I want it. Uh, let's also go to this 1-Up house. Let's see if I can do better than I did last time, which isn't that different, but also, sometimes you just can't dodge the Bowsers, so... I probably actually want to be in the middle. Oh my goodness, this is the worst choice I could have possibly had. I have two Bowsers and a 1-Up. Grab two 1-Ups. Oh, I almost grabbed another one. Probably want to move down again. Grab some coins. Oh, Bowser, don't. Grab the Bowser. Grab the 1-Up. This is actually going fairly well. Oh my goodness, this is going great! Okay, one more 1-Up. Two more 1-Ups! Oh my gosh, how many did I get? I got, like, two Bowsers, but also, look at all those. Look at all those! How? By myself, I got six 1-Ups. Also, everyone gets a 1-Up from all this, and also all of the coin 1-Ups as well. So that could have been... Those houses are actually pretty good in multiplayer. Uh, but anyway. Let's take out this Goomba. Uh, I think I'll also use a star power against it, possibly. It's probably completely unnecessary, but I'm gonna do it. Oh, actually, if you have a star power, you can take out enemies instantly. So, wow. Cool. On that day, nothing happened. These baby Yoshis are hungry for panels. Uh, when I blow the whistle, bring one baby Yoshi of each color here. So we need to keep track of what items are where, and which panels they have. The, r the right combination of panels will earn you uh, up, up to two items, but don't you dare bring any Bowsers. So basically, the first one we need to keep track of is the, the Bowser. Also, these aren't going to be great items. 
to worry about. So let's throw that one over there. Let's throw that one over there. I don't know which one of those I have. And let's grab a random item, hopefully a mushroom. Which is weird to say. Okay, I got one mushroom. So you get an item, you have, have to have a toad. Not a Bowser. And you have a blue panel which has either a one times or two times to get two of the item that you get, so. Or just one times, you know. So we've got a mushroom. What? I'm sad about the inventory again. Anyway, let's see what we can do over here. Which I think we're going to go to the top one first. Spike Spouting Sands. Let's go. Spike will throw down... Uh, spiky balls that you need to avoid. But you can also hit the blocks underneath them to take them out. Hello, one up. I'll take that. I think there are several secrets just hidden around that I'm going to be looking out for. This level could actually be tricky for secrets. If I'm not careful. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. We do. We do. We good. It's all good. Let's grab that. Another f ice flower. Seems to be a lot of those around. Ow! How did that not work? That's fine. Just gonna send everything flying in every direction. Apparently, uh, I feel though like there's stuff I'm missing already. Uh, let's go down here. Nothing there. Okay. There's a pipe here, and I don't think I can go into it, so I'm very concerned that I've missed something. Also, I'm not jumping it. If you you can also jump higher when you're moving faster, so. Uh, but I'm missing something. So where am I missing something? Where? Where? Where are where? Oh, hello. Oh, there, hello. <laughs> I don't know how I managed to find that by accident. Okay, up please. Please up, thank you. Let's go into the sky. And now we have these blocks here, which will expand out into platforms, basically. But all we need to do is grab the star coin and get out of here. And this should take us back to the checkpoint. Which is a shame, because I got the checkpoint after getting that star coin, so... Now if I die... I go back to before getting that, which means I have to backtrack some some more again. Uh, but I think if I go down here, this is a secret pipe, so let's go down that. And now we get a mini mushroom. Which means that we lose all our power-ups and only have one hit point. But if we're running, we can actually just run up the wall. Which is such a cool thing that you can do as mini... whatever. Mini Toad. Mini Mario. And we need to run through here without getting pushed up. Very quickly, quick, 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 and we get a star coin, and we get victory. I think we're at the end of the level now, but I'm also missing something else. Uh, but I think with one hit point, I probably just want to hit the flag so I don't lose my star coins. Okay, well, let's head back in, because we are actually missing a secret here. Even if it's not entirely obvious. Also, we don't bounce off- we don't hit, hit enemies the same way when we- Oh, bad. Oh, bad. This is- this is- this is fine. I don't know why I'm panicking so much right now, but it's fine. Uh, anyway, let's go all, all the way over this way. I don't know where exactly the secret is that I'm looking for, but I will find it. Oh, that's a bit high. That is a bit high. Okay, up. I don't know if I can reach that, I'm just gonna leave that. There. Well, I, I suppose the secret is probably somewhere near the end, when I wasn't really looking for it because I was just trying to survive with the mini mushroom. Oh, that's not good. Please hit that, thank you. Give me the mushroom. I don't know how I got on top of the block, but that's okay. 
Okay. Also, if shells hit enough enemies in a row, they'll also give you a one-up. Now, I believe... I believe... I hit that and I get a mushroom. One-up. So you have to hit that from underneath to get the reward. Oh, boy. This is not a good place to be right now. And I don't know where the secret is. Actually, I might know where the secret is, and I might actually have to go back. I probably should have done the secret the first time. Let's go down through the underground. And get the mini mushroom. Because I think you need this for this particular secret. Which seems like an interesting decision to make, but that's okay. Ah, uh, but now, if we go up here with the mini mushroom, we can... No, we can't. I'm crazy. Uh, let me... Try this side. Oh my goodness, just running up the walls is so weird. To randomly happen. Okay, oh good, oh good, oh good. Actually, I know exactly what I did wrong. And it's fine. Because I believe I didn't need the mini mushroom, but we can... No, oh, I know I did. Or I could just slide, probably. By crouching through there. But anyway, this pipe takes us to the secret. And we can go up this wall and get the red flag. That's such a great sound <laughs> for Mini Toad to make. Oh my goodness. Anyway, this secret is actually going to take us elsewhere now, up this cake. All the way into the snow of the mountains. And it's still on a cake, which is cool. All the way up there. It's really just the icing on the cake. It all makes sense now. So, let's go into here. Prana plants on ice. This level is interesting. Because we have all these ice blocks around, also ice physics now. But we also have these prana plants that are destroying the ice blocks underneath the ice blocks. Which make the ice blocks fall down, so we need to be careful of that. Can I have an item so I'm not like this now? Because I don't like how floaty I am on ice. As mini toad. So it's all good. It's all good. Also I need to get up here probably. So sometimes there'll be stuff on top of the platforms that are getting thrown down by the prana plants. And sometimes they're underneath it, like this one here. So now it's going to be a time before everything's... It's going to take me a few tries to get everything, basically. Uh, anyway, let's grab that there. Let's grab that there. Let's grab that there. And let's grab that there. And let's grab that there. Give me the fire flower. Which we can actually burn the platforms underneath the icebox as well. Ourselves. Now, this is a bad thing to have that fall down. But that's okay, because I just need to get in this pipe up here. Oh, breathing. That's a crazy idea. But anyway, we need to have some of these platforms fall down so we can get up here and get this star coin. Careful, careful, so careful. So careful, oh my goodness, careful. I've never been so careful before. I missed the first star coin, that's probably in the pipe. Uh, but I didn't say I was going to get everything on the first try, so I will not. Oh my goodness. So many things falling, we need to go up here. And let's stay up here if we can. I think. I don't know if I... Oh, I do. There's last star coin. I don't know where I'm falling. Oh, not there, please. That's a bad idea. Okay, and this should be the end of the level. So we only missed one thing. Which we can get back. Also, we ended on 7-7 at the end of the timer. So fireworks, and also, hey! We're all cheering you on. Here, take this. And we get another super acorn. We have so many super- we have so many acorns now. It's crazy. But anyway, we also take a shortcut which also skips more stuff again, just like in World 1. Which goes all the way, all the way to the same place as the shortcut in World 1, so. But anyway, we're not going to do that right now. Instead, we might actually just go into level as we are. 
again and try to get that star coin that I missed, which I'm pretty sure is going to be underneath that pipe that got blocked up by the ice. Let's grab that, please. And now we just need to run to where the pipe is. We don't really need to run, but once we get to where the pipe is, we want to go down quickly. Okay. <laughs> it's just... It's just free if you get there, so... But now I need to complete the level again, which should be simple enough. I don't have to worry about secrets, so I can just run along the ground at full speed. Safely. This is such a peaceful level. Also, I love the starry background. I feel like the backgrounds in this game do really well. Oh, careful, 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 careful. Oh my goodness, that was close. You can get crushed in between- on the edge of something as well. So you need to be careful of that. But there we go. And that's that level completed. And now we can head back to Layer Cake Desert. But I think that is it for now. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.